How fast could a Tesla park itself in a parking spot if a Tesla could auto park? Uh, I think it's gonna be harder than it looks because no one reverses into spots. All right, welcome back to the channel. Dan here from our Tesla. So today I am testing something that I've wanted to do for a while. Now, way back when, when we had ultrasonic sensors, we used to have auto park. And back then with those ultrasonic sensors, I never used it because it wasn't really convenient. It was very slow and bothersome and you could never really get it to work. Like um, you drive in a parking lot and the little sensor on the car would never pick up a parking spot and you can really never use it. Uh, but then FSD 12 came out and it was a game changer. So vision only auto park, uh, in my opinion, is amazing. I use it pretty often and in my opinion, it's pretty uh, on par for regular drivers in terms of timing. Like a lot of people say it's slow. I don't find it that much of a difference. So that's what we're going to do today is we are going to test the difference between how long it takes for a Tesla to auto park as opposed to a regular driver. Now, my testing philosophy is I don't, I want to do a blind test, meaning that I don't want to stick someone in here and tell them, Hey, you're going to be timed against auto park. Let's see how fast you can do it. Cause either they're going to go really fast or they're going to try, people are going to say they're, you know, did it slowly on purpose. So I want to take regular people that I'm going to just time out there parking and see how long it takes them to park. And that is the other thing is that, uh, I kind of test it out, see how I could do this and not a lot of people reverse into parking spots. So that's going to be a challenge on its own is to find people reversing into parking spots. And if I can't find people, then I'll just time myself and see how long it takes me to auto park on manual. Anyways, so that is the plan. So let's get right into it. Before I do though, please take a second and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. You get better content and it helps me out a lot. So definitely subscribe, do it now. I'll wait for you when you get back. So for this test, I have my phone, uh, I'm going to time it, got my MagBack case, which I love, as well as my MagBack mount. Uh, it's all MagSafe, so it just sticks on. Uh, so we're going to get the stopwatch going. So here we go. All right, so we're all set. So let's go do some testing. It's going to drive here. So I'm going to start like so. So 32 seconds. So pretty good spot. So let's take that one. Oh, what's it doing? <laughs> so 33 seconds. There again. Uh, so I kind of reversed too much into it. See this one. Reset that. All right. Go. There's a drone. So 25 seconds. So let's go.
So 29 seconds. There you go. Okay, we're gonna do, this is me. So let's show off, I wanna do that in that spot too. So this is the hardest one I can probably do. So let's go. Not crashing into anything. Oh, there it goes, drone. So 26 seconds for myself and my drone's going crazy here. All right, we're here on a parking lot waiting for someone to reverse into a parking spot, which uh, I think it's gonna be harder than it looks because no one reverses into spots. So let's just wait, see if we get someone. Lame. No. No. No, we got one here coming. Um, no. 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 Oh, 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 oh. Here we go, our first one. All right, so that was 18 seconds. Another thing I want to try is parallel parking because parallel parking is the great equalizer. You can't just nose into it. Sometimes you just have to parallel park and Let's see if Auto Park can do it better because a lot of people suck at parallel parking. Okay, so we are going to do parallel parking. So 35 seconds for the parallel park. Uh, it is not like, I don't have a car behind me. Uh, this is what it is, so this is the scenario. Uh, so let's try ahead and go do it myself. Let's try a parallel park myself. Let's see how long it takes me. So we're gonna start. So 20 seconds. I'm good at parallel parking. What can I say? All right, we're gonna give the follow pilot better for the doubt and uh, kind of light the car a little better. This doesn't get better, much better. So 28 seconds. So uh, not as bad as what I, not as good as what I did, but like only five seconds off.
So 34 seconds, 35 seconds right there. Uh, so can I do any better? All right, so this is gonna be my attempt at doing a parallel parking. So 25 seconds, 27 seconds, around that time. So not the greatest. And all these people are looking at me now. Okay. All right, so I just wanna take a second and let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Magback. As you can see in the video, they have both a foam mount for your driver and passenger side. And if you go to magback.com, they have those as well as every single phone case for every phone imaginable. And I love their cases. So go get one today. Get them again at magback.com. Anyways, back to the video. So I got my good buddy Dax from um, Regen Nation. He's over here, you'll see him in a second. Say hi, Dax. Now, he has no idea what we're doing. Well, he doesn't know we're gonna time him, but he's gonna park for him. Hi, Dan. Hi, Dax. It's funny seeing you here. I know, are you ready? I don't know what I'm ready for, but is that close or not? So I kind of feel like I'm a driver ed instructor. Oh, so you're not gonna be able to reach the wheels because I'm a regular person. Do you want to move up? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm blocking it. Don't worry. So you're going to drive straight ahead. Uh, so we were basically going to park beside your car. Yep. Reverse park into your car and ignore what I'm doing. Are you a good parker? Very good drive. Look at you. Look at you. 12 seconds, 13 seconds. Yeah. All right. All right. Can you do the same thing that we're going to do autopilot? I mean, like auto park. So 24 seconds. So if you haven't guessed it yet, the whole point of this video is to see how long it takes for people to park out versus auto park. And I didn't want to tell you because I didn't want to either slow down on purpose oh, or okay. speed up on purpose. Uh, so this is completely random test. Yeah. Uh, so it's about 10 seconds, I would say. All right, so I have done a lot of auto parking this last week. And mind you, I'm not surprised by the results. I knew auto park was going to be slower. But obviously I didn't know how slow or the difference was. Uh, the benefit of auto park is, you know, it's obviously much better than the previous version. The previous version, I could never get to even initiate. Uh, so this new version is amazing in terms of you see every single parking spot in the lot and you can just click and start the process, which is amazing. Now, in terms of speed, now the fastest auto park I got was about 26 seconds. And that is barely based on where you are starting that sequence. I find that if uh, the car has to adjust itself, it's well over 30 seconds. Uh, so, but 26 seconds was a good sp average in terms of a quick, uh, easy uh, parking job in terms of like that's to adjust itself or anything like that. Uh, now my parking, uh, which, you know, I thought was reasonable at first, but uh, once Dax got in the car, I kind of felt embarrassed, but like my average time was around 25 seconds or so, 20 to 25 seconds. So, you know, about five, 10 seconds faster than autopilot, auto park. And Dax comes in and does like 12 seconds. Uh, so obviously it depends on the type of driver you are. Uh, there are some drivers that are really quick and efficient and others who, you know, kind of struggle, um, you know, they don't like going in reverse or they don't like parallel parking. That's a big one because uh, a lot of people do struggle with parallel parking. At least all park is there for that. Uh, so, you know, if you guys are out there, if you guys are those type of people who just don't like parking in reverse, uh, then you may be either on par or even slower than all park. So, 
Uh, it was definitely really hard to get a wide gamut of drivers because, you know, just looking at the slot right now where I'm at now, like no one's parked in reverse. So, um, you know, that was a tough part in terms of comparing that. Uh, but, you know, this wasn't a, you know, is autopilot better? No, it's not. It's just kind of seeing how exactly, how quickly, or how, what the difference was between a human driver and autopilot. Hopefully it gets better and hopefully it gets more efficient. Uh, so that's a video. I'd love to hear in the comments for you guys to see exactly how quickly or how slow you guys are parking. So let me know in the comments. Anyways, uh, huge thanks to Magback, which is sponsored of the video. They helped me out with these two uh, phone mounts. So anyways, if you uh, like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know those videos which I release about every week or so. Tons of awesome Tesla content. Uh, so definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. In the meantime, drive safe and drive electric. Drive electric. Drive electric. I was just checking to see if the, uh, if the audio was on and if it wasn't, I was going to lose my mind. Uh, so anyways, we're good.